Greetings everyone! Mercedes had the opportunity to make the most beautiful and brutal and most aggressive SUV in the world. Car had no engine, only batteries, so there were no limits in the design department. And instead they made the condom filled with soap and attached LED lights to it. It is changed the design of this huge SUV as boring as lecture on research of turtle stop speed. Front looks nice, but I have a feeling that it's half done. It's not finished properly. Car does have same concept at the front and the back and on the side and everywhere you look it uh, looks like it came from the one car, one very ugly car. Interior is very luxurious, much, much better than the exterior. It has huge comfortable seats that are heated, ventilated and can massage you if you want and also they can be your personal trainer if you follow instructions from the huge hyperscreen. Also you can have not only the hyperscreen but 50 inch curved display on your dashboard that's actually almost as big as the dashboard and the hyperscreen is uh, as big as the windshield. You need time to get used to all the features in those screens. Also, you have great and beautiful head-up display that is entertaining as your mother-in-law arguing with her boyfriend at family reunion. It is very spacious 5-seater. If you pay a little bit more, you will get not very spacious 7-seater. I like the interior. It has this luxury feel to it. And in general, interior is not bad. The quality is good, heavily equipped with all the features in the world. Also, it's a very comfortable car. Body control is good. And as a luxury car, it is at the same level as other German cars. It has the same platform as EQS and battery capacity is 107 kW. The lowest power output is 388 brake horsepower and 500 Nm of torque. 0 to 100 will happen in 6.5 seconds. Range will be 660 km and for my burger loving friends, 410 miles on single charge. And we're talking about the single motor trim that is rear wheel drive. The most expensive trim develops 658 brake horsepower and 950 Nm of torque and it has dual motor system. Range is 600 km and for my Eagle arriving friends 373 miles and 0 to 100 will be in 4.4 seconds. Also you have off-road mode with air ride suspension as standard. And the air suspension is very good. I have no idea why it has off-road mode because I have never seen any Mercedes actually doing any off-roading in real life. Even the G-Wagons, they're always on the best and smoothest roads. Acoustic system is nice. Sound isolation is very good. Also, it has acoustic laminated glass that also will protect you from UV lights. In my personal opinion, the best feature that EQS SUV has is the anti-gold digger look. No gold digger will look at this car because this car is just invisible for them. So you will be safe from unwanted attention from bad women. So the big question is why this car is not selling? So the big question is why this car is not selling? And the answer is the price. Fully equipped version of this EQS SUV is $150,000 and this amount for EV car today is insane amount of money. Today everybody knows that EVs do not cost that much and do not worth $150,000. For that amount you can buy three Chinese luxury EVs that will be as fast, will have longer range and will have more features with 10 years warranty on them. Big names like Lucid and Rivian and Tesla are getting cheaper day by day from the factories and value is dropping every minute. Americans do not buy electric Mercedes. MSRP is dropping very hard. Secondhand prices of Mercedes EVs are plummeting. Even Bloomberg made the article about this problem. 2023 had 40% decline in the sales compared to 2022. Margins drop, sales drop, depreciation almost 50% in the first year of ownership of Mercedes EVs. Even dealers starting to cancel their pre-orders of EV Mercedes. This car is the best car in second-hand market right now. But I do not recommend buying it new. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 